Hey folks, uh, we're back and D23 just, I think this is going up like net. So D23 just happened for everybody. And, uh, we learned some things and we also learned that fantastic forecast was not announced. So shout out to our video. Will the fantastic forecast be announced at D23? I have your answer. It fucking won't be, but I do <laughs> want to talk about some highlights and some lowlights from it. So I'm, I'm going to quote an article here from entertainment weekly. Nick Fury played by Samuel L. Jackson, is back on Earth and ready to stand up to the scrolls in the official trailer for Secret Invasion. At least, we think it's him. It's the show's official trailer. Fury can be seen meeting with a collection of fellow characters, including Maria Hill, played by Kobe Smulders, Everett K. Ross, played by Martin Freeman, the scroll Talos, played by Ben Mendelsohn. I love that character. And James Rohde, of course, played by Don Cheadle, who, you know, James Rohde, if you don't know, that's War Machine, baby. The series is set for a 2023 release on Disney Plus and also stars a lot of newcomers, uh, according to Entertainment Weekly. So the reason why I quote specifically Secret Invasion, it, it's according to what I've seen on online fan base from, from Marvel fans everywhere, just just the general opinion on how D23 went. This is the only thing that anyone liked from it. Yeah. Um, <laughs> So, you know, it, it's a, that's a cool trailer. I, 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 did you watch the trailer? So, yeah, I watched the trailer mm-hmm. just before I came over here. And, yeah, it was kind of, it threw me off a little bit. But, like, I feel like if we're wanting to get more into a deep dive of that, we can. But, yeah, it was, it was kind of, I was like, okay, this seems interesting. It's well-paced and everything. But from the last place that we got left off with a lot of these characters, I'm like, how does this happen? In? Because like the scrolls were kind of put into a place of like the inverse of what they were in the comics. Mm-hmm. But the whole idea of secret invasion is the scrolls are evil and they're taking over things. But it's like, but in the movies they were like, Oh no, but the scrolls are just like innocent bystanders who are trying I to mean, buy. Sure. And we we're talking about Captain Marvel for a second in that yeah. movie. It seemed like they were good, but that was also in the eighties. So like, a reasonable amount of time has passed. We don't know the character's motivations now. Yeah. So I guess we'll just find out yeah, what's going to be with that. Now, some of the more disappointing things about T23. Um, people hate the Thunderbolt cast. Uh, <laughs> I, I don't hate it as much as other people do, but if you didn't like the, um, if you didn't like the Black Widow movie, you're going to be really fucking disappointed by Thunderbolts because yeah. they basically put half the cast into it. So... Uh, if you guys don't know, Thunderbolts is essentially like the Suicide Squad Marvel, and they exactly. just released Basically, the cast. Yeah. And um, yeah, I mean, where is your anticipation for that? Were you a Thunderbolts fan, or so I didn't read too much. I was gonna say, as far as Marvel went, I only growing up, I was DC all the way, and then when the Marvel movies started to come out, I was like, I obviously was into like. Spider Man and a couple like the basics and yeah. everything, yeah, the basics of what was going on over at Marvel, and then they started to release the MCU, and I was like, okay, I'll take a second look at these characters. And over the past what 10, 15 years or whatever it is now, I've grown to read a lot of those comics and dive into them. But yeah, the Thunderbolts always kind of were lower on my radar. I never really checked them out because they did feel very much just like a discount suicide squad. Yeah. And like the other thing too is I don't want to be a hater. Like I like Marvel stuff. I don't want to be a hater, but you just killed in 2019. You killed your two flagship characters, Mm -hmm. right? You killed them off. That's fair. Good idea. It was a great idea for the time. Now you have to make new ones or we're just, it's like, it's like they're ghosts. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's like we're watching past when the show should have ended. It's like we're watching Sam and Cat of the Marvel Universe. You know yeah. what I mean? Like, I Carly ended. Yeah. Sam and Cat kept going, and nobody knew why. And that's kind of how Marvel's feeling as they're making bigger announcements and strides towards things like Thunderbolts and showing trailers for Secret Invasion and showing clips of the new Daredevil stuff. Mm-hmm. It's like you need to start establishing who the main characters of the MCU are going to be again. Yeah. And I understand that those movies are coming, but it's a missed opportunity where you have a room filled with people, people who are ready to be wowed because there haven't been wowed as of late. And then you're just like, yeah, Thunderbolts is coming now. Isn't that hype? You really love David Harbour the first time. Like most people didn't. It's been so 
the the MCU in general has just been in such a weird place because like the start of the phase we got Loki and WandaVision, which everybody was losing their fucking minds. You about. know, and here's the thing. I still love WandaVision, but I'm I'm going to come out here as a Loki hater. I feel like Loki is not as good. Is Loki not as good as people think it is? But they love the character so much. And Owen Wilson's so fucking good. Yeah. That it gets kind of like a pass. But you'd be lying if you said every single episode of Loki was like, yeah, like he's trying to fuck himself. We I get it. definitely enjoyed myself while I was watching Loki. I didn't really have any times that like I was disappointed. Really? There were times that I was like, oh, well, that's a little weird. But other than episode that- three and five were terrible. And if you guys know which ones those are, I think those episodes are so bad. But whatever. I watched all of them like. I just one binge. Yeah, so I don't I don't have a distinction in my head. So and, it all kind of it all played out like a really long movie for me and I loved it that way. That's why I haven't watched any of She-Hulk and I'm like I keep trying to avoid everybody I, I hating a, on it. Here's but. the here's my I won't even get into my She-Hulk review, but just a quick statement about She-Hulk. Y'all are hating too much, okay? It's it's good. It's not I'm not saying it's great, but like totally fits the Marvel universe. Totally a lot of fun. Chill out. She twerked with Megan the Stallion. Who cares? It was fucking hot as shit. Well, also, like, no one gave in Guardians, like, to fucking distract the dude, he's like, he's like, dance off. Me and you. Let's go. Yeah, it's, it's always like, been, like, super been levity, heavy. And, and, yeah, like, that's what the MCU is about. I, I mean, I know why people really don't like She-Hulk. It's because it's a lady. People don't like that. She got them. She got them. Their green. Titties. She's a She-Hulk. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Which I'm just like, seems like a bonus. To Which me, also, whatever. Like, I love all the stuff that are coming out, like showing the fact that people don't read the She-Hulk comics because they're like, the MCU made She-Hulk ridiculous. And it's hey, like, we're going to watch on yeah. She-Hulk. Okay, sorry. My point back to D23. I just want to give this overall thought. I feel like maybe it's not Kevin Feige's fault. Maybe this is a Bob Chapek issue. Yeah. Maybe this goes up to the top. But this D23 was incredibly disappointing for Marvel. I know that a lot of people really liked seeing a little bit of the little mermaid early. People enjoyed the announcements about the new rides coming to Disney. That's fine. I'm not really invested in any of that. Like the little mermaid I'll see. That looks cute, but that's not the point. So I'm I, really invested in these movies and the presentation sucked. Yeah. It sucked. It sucked so hard. Which as a as a nerd, like, do on you the care internet, about Werewolf by Night or whatever? Are you super hyped for that? Are you <laughs> shitting your pants? That's I did see on Disney Plus that they've announced that they're going to be dropping. They're going to be remaking the Percy Jackson series, and I'm like, that's a that's a series I read growing up, and I'm like, I hope they do it justice. So oh, here's hoping so that they they I, already I, fucked up the movies so bad that I'm like, what's the worst thing they could do with the did show? Did you see Artemis Fowl? Oh, if you give not. if you give childhood beloved books to Disney, they will shit in the binding. They'll open yeah. it up in the hardback. But that's what I'm saying. They already right did that with the movies. They fucked up the movies so hard that I'm like, if they're doing a show, I'm like, worst thing, they fuck it up again, and I don't care. But or they could make it really cool. But yeah. no, it's it's hard. Like the nerds on the internet, we've had such a good run for the past 10, 15 years as Mm -hmm. the MCU has just been hit after hit after hit. It's been so much nerd content that like it used to be like very much like, oh, you have to like hide your nerdiness and like not really talk about it. And then the way you describe it makes me laugh. I'm sorry. Yeah. But now it's now it's like the like being a nerd is cool. And that has become such a norm that now that some of these things aren't hitting, it's like people are just losing their fucking minds. I just, I don't, I don't agree. I I feel like there's so much coming up. So many movies. I mean, they announced two, they announced two Avenger titles at Comic-Con. Yeah. But at their own convention, that's known for being super explosive and way better than the Comic-Con announcements. They let out this little wet fart. It is weird. It's that just they it's would... a it's weird to get everybody hyped for it and then just not deliver. Like they even they they go so far with their like willingness to like outdo themselves. They even did shit like they bought up the defenders. All of those they took them back from Netflix. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Held on to them. They for, bought them. Yeah, yeah. Held on to them. Everybody was like, "Oh, you're gonna get rid of them in the middle of their like everybody's in love with them right now, and you can't use them for the next five years. Just let Netflix play with them." And they're like, 
no, we're going ahead. We're just deleting these characters. And then they're like, we're actually bringing them back in. And it's like, they've gone through and they've done like such big jumps to just really undercut other competition, even like making the Disney plus service. And then to just like flub it at their own convention. It's just, it's, it's strange. strange. And, yeah. it, and I feel like on an investor side of it, like people who are invested in Disney, like financially, I really do feel like it's going to take a hit because the thing is, is you really only get like, like, like the movies themselves are going to have their own responses and whether they're good or bad, Disney will make money. Yeah. The problem is, is public perception is how you guarantee that. And when your public perception is okay, the Marvel universe is in a downward spiral. You want to like reinvigorate people. Thank God, like, people are so against Disney right now for, like, Zaslav canceling everything. Because otherwise, yeah. I feel like there'd be a jumping ship aspect to this. Yeah. Um, But we'll see. I mean, I, I have hopes for the projects they said. I'll obviously give an opportunity to most of them. I don't know if I'm ever going to fucking care about Werewolf by Night. Like, I just don't think it's going to matter. What is Werewolf by Night? I think it's like, called... I it's like Werewolf by Night or something. I don't even, See, I don't even know the title. Hold Midnight on. Ultimate Werewolf? No. Like, are we talking about that? Oh, dude, I would have, if they made a Midnight Ultimate... The, the fucking Christ, I would be freaking out. That'd be so excited. <laughs> yeah, Werewolf by Night. Uh, buh, 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 buh. It's just, you know... It's about a werewolf. Is it, is it comes a out, horror movie? Is comes it out, a, it's, it's, I think it's a, it's a special presentation of a werewolf. And I believe it. Is it like the, what's the, what's the Disney original? I think, I think it's like a my show? My brother's a werewolf or something. And it Tell comes out, the comic. comes out October 7th. I mean, it's a Marvel Studios project. I mean, oh, fuck. Wait, werewolf a, by night. Yeah. Oh shit. So it comes out October 7th. I do not know that character. Okay. Yeah. Weird. Huh? Yeah. Crazy. <laughs> oh my god <laughs> what are you saying i don't know i heard pixar 2 inside out 2 oh, no inside out too? listen i i'm okay with the other announcements at disney i think that there there's tons of cool stuff coming out of pixar always pixar is arguably one of the best studios out there just not even animation studios just one of the best film studios that's I love this show because I don't know any, like, D23 just happened. I should know all of this stuff being a nerd, and I just, like, it totally skims right over my head. So this is where I get my my movie news. So this is <laughs> I didn't know that Inside Out 2 was coming out. That's dope. Yeah, yeah, Amy Poehler's coming back. It's a whole thing. Anyway, guys, let us know what you enjoyed from the D23 release. Is there any Marvel, Star Wars, whatever stuff that you're fucking hype about? Are you hype? For Inside Out too. Are you tell me, tell me down in the comments what your favorite issue of Werewolf by Night is, and I'm going to pick it up and read it. No, you know he's not. I'm going to do... Oh. I probably will. I'm, I'm running out of things to read. <laughs> yeah, he probably <laughs> will, but he shouldn't, because I'm sure it sucks. <laughs> anyway, no, just kidding. I'm sure Werewolf by Night's a great thing. It's just... What the fuck? Are, wait, why, why did they not announce Fantastic Four? Why? Anyway, sorry. Leave it down in the comments below. Make sure to like and subscribe. And if you guys dug this stuff... Please come back and check out more. If you want to hear our speculations on the Fantastic Four possible casting that the video is still relevant to, even though it's entitled yeah. D23, go watch that shit. And uh, shout out to your family. What's up? Peace out. Peace out.